From fire to fryers, humans are famous for their endless food-related innovations. Some were half-baked, some burnt out, and a few stand above the rest. It's the top 10 kitchen innovations that changed food forever. From the Great Pyramids to the greatest things atop the food pyramid, humans have been appreciating deep-fried foods for thousands of years. The Egyptians were among the first to cook by submersion in hot oil, making their versions of fried dough in the 2000s BC. The Romans created their version of deep-fried chicken called Pullum Frontinianum, detailed in the ancient cookbook Apicius, named after the ancient food blogger Marcus Gavius Apicius. The method spread like a grease fire. 13th century cookbooks from Spain and Portugal have recipes for deep-fried fish and falafel appeared in the Middle East while the Japanese started making tempura in the 1500s. Deep-frying technology advanced in the 1800s with donuts emerging in 1809, and we can't emphasize enough how thankful we are for this. Thanks to cast iron pans becoming largely available at this time, anyone could make the newly invented french fries. These days, just about anything can be deep-fried, including bubblegum, ice cream, Coca-Cola, and butter. Before receiving an Instant Pot from your mom, you'd never heard of a pressure cooker, except for when your friend talks about their super demanding finance job. But the process of pressure cooking was invented over 350 years ago. Denis Papin, a French physicist, invented the steam digester in 1679, putting foods in an airtight vessel to build up steam pressure, causing liquid inside to boil at a higher temperature. This simulated braising or simmering in a shorter period of time. Similarly, people working in a pressure cooker go gray by 26. Home pressure cookers became popular during World War II, and the electric pressure cooker was invented in 1991. But the version we know today, and Amazon's valedictorian, the Instant Pot, was introduced by Robert Wang in 2010. The Instant Pot is a multifunctional cooker which can cook fast as a pressure cooker and slow as a slow cooker. It's rapidly becoming as ubiquitous as the other kitchen appliances on this list. We have a fancy French chef to thank for the most utilitarian of pantry inventions, canning. In 1795, the French were desperate for a way to economically feed their military, so they offered a 12,000 franc prize for the best food preservation invention. Nicolas Appert was determined to win. Worth $250,000 today, that prize could buy a lot of aprons. He began by packing foods into champagne bottles and sealing it with a combination of cheese and slaked lime, or calcium hydroxide. A pair's method took food in sealed glass containers and heated them for a long time. The heat killed any microorganisms inside the containers, and the seal prevented any from getting in. A pair won the prize in 1810, and soon other inventors had applied his technique with metal cans. Canning became a main source of food for militaries and explorers around the world. Ironically, the can opener wasn't invented until 1858. Since 1000 BC, people have understood that leftovers are best kept cold. Back then, the Chinese cut and stored ice, realizing it made their food last longer. The Egyptians left pots of water out overnight to create ice, and the Greeks stored snow in insulated pits. There were no advancements until the icebox was invented in the 1860s, which worked like a modern cooler. But access to ice was a Kardashian-level luxury. Most people resorted to canning, smoking, drying, or salting to preserve their foods. Smoked milk? Dried eggs? There must be a better way. Finally, in 1899, technology caught up to the public's need for cold beer when Albert T. Marshall patented the first mechanical refrigerator. Fridge sales took time to heat up. They were in 8% of homes in the 30s, 45% in the 40s, and today, 99% of American households have one. The other 1% are college dorm rooms that couldn't fit one. Thanks to the modern oven, baking a cake is a piece of cake. However, this is a relatively new convenience. Many ancient civilizations, including Egyptians, Romans, and Jews, used stone or brick ovens to bake bread. However, the first iteration of a stove may be clay cooking pots made in China around 20,000 years ago. One of the first modern kitchen stoves that we're familiar with today was built in France in 1490. However, these models didn't have a bake button. 
They were heated by fire in a separate chamber, regulated just by how many logs you threw in. In 1834, James Sharp invented the first commercially available gas stove, which became popular for its ability to regulate temperature. The first electric stove was patented in 1892. Ironically, people today love going to fancy restaurants to overpay for pizza cooked the old-fashioned way in a wood-fired oven. From, is this clean or dirty, to, no fair, mom, I emptied it last time. The dishwasher created a new category of family arguments while revolutionizing kitchen work. From the dawn of plates until 1886, people were stuck scrubbing and rinsing their dishes. Joel Houghton invented the first dishwasher in 1850, but it was barely effective. Ancient peoples used handfuls of sand to scour dirty dishes and utensils. They then discovered that the ashes of some plants were useful to remove grease, leading to developing soaps. The soapwort plant was good for scrubbing, so people began growing it near their cleaning stations until the kitchen sponge was invented. The Great Leap Forward occurred in 1886 when Josephine Cochran invented the machine that would prevent millions of roommate fights. Josephine hosted many dinner parties. Fed up with the way her servants damaged fine china during washing, she constructed the first dishwasher that cleaned by spraying dishes with hot, pressurized water, winning the highest award at the 1893 Chicago World's Fair. Household dishwashers weren't common until the 1950s, but the design was still based on Josephine's machine. The Romans are back, this time for inventing toast. Roman soldiers toasted to prolong the life of their bread rations. The word toastum in Latin means to scorch or to burn. It took a shockingly long time for toasting to advance past open flame. But when it happened, like the printing press revolutionized academia, art, and communication, the toaster revolutionized breakfast. The electric toaster went through more updates than an iPhone after its invention in 1893. The first model only toasted one side of the bread at a time and had to be flipped manually. New models featured improvements like automatically flipping the bread, the automatic pop-up, and the automatic pop-up that toasted both sides of the bread. Then, in 1928, after 30 years of toaster innovation, the bread slicer was invented. Talk about putting the cart before the horse, an idiom coined by a Roman, of course. Making baked goods wasn't always a relaxing weekend activity. Before electric mixers, hand mixing dough and batter required a Herculean effort. Innovations began during the Industrial Revolution with the mechanical mixer, whisk, and egg beater appearing to keep up with the growing working populations. In 1908, Herbert Johnson observed a baker laboring to mix dough with a large iron spoon and decided there must be a better way. He invented a huge 80-quart commercial mixer selling it to bakeries and the Navy. In 1909, company executives brought a smaller prototype home for their wives to test out. One of them exclaimed, this is the best KitchenAid I've ever used. The KitchenAid brand was born. A sales team of mostly women lugged the 65 pound machines door to door and sales of a smaller version took off in 1927. The iconic machine is featured in the Smithsonian and has become a popular tattoo. Google it. Like the understudy in a play, the blender waits patiently in the cabinet for its time to shine. So it's ironic that it was first popularized by a famous entertainer. The first patent for a spinning blade at the bottom of a container was in 1932, but the blender got its big break in 1936. Fred Waring was a famous big band leader, radio personality, and engineering hobbyist known in the inventor community. One night after a show, Waring encountered Fred Osius, who had snuck backstage to meet and pitch him his invention, the blender. Waring saw potential in the drink mixing machine and invested, selling Waring blenders at hotels and restaurants at every stop on tour, which eventually became more of a household name than Fred himself. The blender is popular today for making smoothies and scaring pets for funny videos. Just like the ramen dinner it helps us to make, the origin story of the microwave is an instant classic. After World War II, the Raytheon company was seeking new uses for its microwave technology, which had been used for military radar. In 1946, Percy Spencer, an engineer, observed during some microwave tests that the candy bar in his pocket was melting. Intrigued, he exposed an egg to microwaves. It exploded in one of his colleagues' faces. 
He then experimented with popcorn kernels, which burst all over the lab. The idea for the microwave oven was born. The first commercial microwave oven, produced in 1946, was almost six feet tall, weighed over 700 pounds, and cost $5,000, or $60,000 today. Not very convenient for bringing to the dorm. By 1967, Raytheon had brought the size and price down to $495, and microwaves exploded in popularity in the 70s. Today, they're owned by 90% of households. Don't you have a new appreciation for your kitchen? Can you imagine living without some of these things we take for granted? You know what? I'm starving. Off to my room full of modern miracles.